Yeah, toxin amino assays, GDH antigen assays, and molecular assays. Uh, the toxin assays are immuno assays that detect both of the toxins. The toxins are designated toxin A and toxin B. These are the toxins that are responsible for the disease. If you don't have the toxins there, you don't get the disease. And this is why we continue to think that toxin detection is so important. GDH is a metabolic enzyme called glutamate dehydrogenase. It's an excellent marker for C. diff. Key thing to remember about GDH is that it's produced in large amounts when the organism is actively growing. This is the reason it serves as a good marker for C. diff. The drawback is that it doesn't distinguish between toxigenic and non-toxigenic C. diff strains. Most of the molecular tests are on the market detect a gene for toxin B. There are some that detect toxin A and some detect both of the toxin genes. In general, as a summary, toxin tests are actually more specific. GDH and the molecular tests are more sensitive. Toxin testing, which compares more favorably with clinical outcomes, is a good predictor of true CDI disease. And that's been determined by several different studies independently of each other. The reason the challenge is there is because the presence of the organism and or the presence of the toxin does not mean that you have C. diff disease. The example that's typically used are infants can have high levels of C. diff organism, they can have high levels of C. diff toxins A and B, but they hardly ever get the disease.